All right, so your Windows comes debloated like this. Every installation does this. It comes with Candy Crush, all this stuff Microsoft installs on it. And it really takes up a lot of processes. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to completely debloat Windows and greatly improve, uh, improve performance. First, we're gonna search Windows 10 debloater, all one word. You can use Google, I use DuckDuckGo. And then this first result, make sure it's from Synsnex on GitHub. Don't download anybody else's. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna scroll down, click here, and just download zip. Alright, you'll save it. You'll find it in your downloads folder. I'll just go through here. And I'll unzip it, or you can just copy it to your desktop. But you want to have it uncompressed. Now what we'll do is we'll close everything here. Oops, I got a couple things open. It's one of my tools. What you do is you'll right click on Start, and uh, click on PowerShell Admin. And here we'll um, first click, we'll type Set dash execution policy space unrestricted this will allow us to run this script then you'll uh, just hit a to say yes to all and then cd backslash we'll go to the and then cd space period forward slash users slash and then you'll put your username here my username is nico but you'll put your username slash desktop and hit enter after hitting dir we see that windows 10 debloater master is there so we'll now type cd space period forward slash windows 10 debloater all case sensitive dash master and then hit enter and then we'll dir again let's bring it up a little bit and you'll see some options here now this one the debloater gui I would use that if you've been using the installation for a long time. If you're doing it from a new installation, you'll want to use just Windows 10 to build or PS1. So that's what we're going to do. To run this script, we're going to hit period forward slash Windows 10 debloater dot PS1, all case sensitive, and then hit enter. And then we'll hit R to run once. And this is going to ask if you want to to do this, you want to remove all the pre-installed Windows stuff. It's all junk. It's just from the blacklist. None of the good stuff's going to be removed. And it's going to start running. And right now, it's removing all the bloatware and things that are trying to sell you stuff, Candy Crush and whatnot. It's also removing them from the registry. So this is not going to cause any kind of uninstall, install issues. Uh, this actually is going to uh, perform some maintenance on, on Windows and uh, fix some errors um, if you have any and uh, almost all new installs have them. Uh, it's also going to, uh, right now it's checking for uh, OneDrive which is a terrible, you shouldn't use OneDrive or when you use Dropbox anyway. It's also stopping Microsoft Edge from being your default viewer. Right now it's uninstalling OneDrive. Everybody uses Adobe and I think you should too. So OneDrive is now uninstalled. Now here, this will unpin all those things from the start menu. Mine's already done, but if you have Candy Crush and everything still there, you might want to do that. But I'm going to hit no for me. Net 3.5, everyone needs that anyway, so yeah. Now it's running DISM, which is great. If you look over here, it just ran the, the DISM tool, which compares um, your Windows OS with uh, what Microsoft has and it fixes errors. Mine was fine. And then here you'll restart. And then you'll notice that um, instead of having 200 to 300, 400 processes running in the background, you're gonna have maybe 170 something, 180 something, a great performance boost. And uh, I run this on any new Windows installation and uh, definitely recommend you do the same. 
right, well, then your start menu will just have what you want and um, won't have any of the garbage you don't want. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and um, my next video will be on uh, uh, removing any viruses and malware from your machine as well as um, fixing your OS all in one go. Super simple. Look forward to seeing you next time.